Hi guys, it's me, Lara, from Mini Golden Doodles of New York, and today we are going to be doing a quick tour of our whelping room, which we just got set up in anticipation of Miss Liberty's litter of miniature golden doodles. So if you are interested to see what our whelping area is, stay tuned. Um, I will have links for all the products that we use, or most of the products that we use, in the description below. So if you are planning on having a litter of puppies yourself in the near future, uh, that will be useful for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the den. This is the whelping box here, which we built ourselves. And we are using the Easy Whelp um, pad underneath it, which we love. It's really, really good. Um, it is very moisture wicking and provides excellent traction for the puppies when they come. That is a little heating pad with a um, chew proof cord, although we will tuck the cord underneath and put the heating pad under the whelping pad when the puppies, when we're ready to whelp. Um, this table is just laying on top of here to give it a more den-like feeling. We might take it off. We'll see how I feel about it, but it's there for now. Um, this is our whelping cart. It has medical supplies in it. I've got the um, miracle nipples and sponges for in case we have to help uh, with puppy feeding. This is hemostats and floss and gauze for cord cutting, surgical scissors for cord cutting. Um, that's for taking mama's temperature. Some gloves, some grooming supplies, not really related to whelping. This is the hot water bottles. These are good for if you want to transport the puppies to the vet and you want something in there that you don't need a cord to keep them warm. You just fill that with warm water. Um, some odds and ends. This is our Oxymama or Cal Plus can opener, some NutriCal. Um, these are our baby monitors, which will actually hook up. Wait, not these. These are from last year. These don't hook up to the phone. Where are they? Over here. These hook up to our phone. We just got these, and last year I mistakenly got the wrong kind, but we can still use them. Um, so I have our puppy weighing station over here and an area that I can sit down and, and take notes, um, record what's going on. Um, we have some supplies for weaning the puppies and for also making mother's pudding um, and, and just vitamins and blue light that's good for after they have the puppies or after they're, any time that they're exhausted, you can give them that. It's kind of got a lot of electrolytes and good things in it for them. Um, this is for us. We can sleep in here. She's got her caranda mat. This is new this year. We did a coffee station because this is late nights and no sleep. And I thought it would just be convenient to have a little coffee station in here. That is a humidifier that's very important when you're having puppies because the puppies need to be in an environment that has high humidity. So we like to have a humidifier going. Um, the air purifier and the little A-L-E-X-A -E that we have right there um, are also important for the puppies because it keeps the air clean and the music is easy to just tell her to put on a classical sleep music playlist and she will play the same playlist which has been working for the puppies very, very well. Um, we have our thermometer in here. This is our weaning pen. So when the puppies come, we will put the, um, I guess they're incontinence pads, they're these things. We'll put these things down in there when they're old enough and ready, and that will help keep them clean and dry while they're learning to use the bathroom. And we will have their little potty area taking up about half of this space um, when they first are introduced to it. Then, what else? I've got some more blankets and toys and wee-wee pads in here. We've got TV for us because we will be spending a lot of time in here 
pretty much all of our time in here. And this is right off of a bathroom and that just is really convenient for water um, and cleanliness. So I think this is gonna be a really good setup. The only thing is going to be making sure that we keep the humidity and the temperature in this space appropriate for the neonatal puppies because that's something that was good about ha using the small room last year is that it was easy to temperature control, but um, we have heaters. This also has a thermostat in here so we can control the temperature in here. And we do have the humidifier, so um, I think we'll, we'll be good. And if we're not, I can always move them to a smaller room. But I think this will work great. And we're just waiting for puppies, so any day now they'll be coming and um, we're very excited. So yes, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about how we raise our puppies or other resources that we use, feel free to ask us in the comments below. Thank you.